Hey YouTube, it's Cody. And I haven't posted in a while, but I've been into bikes instead of cars recently. I picked myself up a Ninja 400 here. I've got a V-Strom 650, and that is my old lady's Eliminator 125. Now, as you may know, a lot of people don't like these. And I don't like them either. I actually had mine taken off, and I was using some mounting points back here and some zip ties to mount it basically flush against this piece right here. So it was, you know, upright, still visible. Cops could still see it when I get pulled over. And I didn't have a problem. I got pulled over a couple times. It never bothered me about it. However, I got pulled over on an island, on the island near where I live. And if you know anything about cops, island cops suck. They always do. And he was gonna give me an $1,100 ticket, but he let it slide because of the cost. But he said, he gave me a written warning. If it happens again, they're gonna be able to see that. Yada, yada, I put my tail back on. Now it's a hideous mess. And I know they make tail tidy kits and they're still legal, but they still don't look good. I still don't like it. It is what it is. But I think for sport bikes, we need to come up with a different way to do it. Now, some, some bikes have a piece that comes off the swing arm and comes around, puts the, the license plate here. And I think those look a lot better. A lot of people don't like them, but we need to come up with a better way of doing this instead of having everybody and their mom fucking t taking their tails, taking their license plates and like pasting them up underneath here. It sucks. It sucks because you get pulled over, you get harassed, you get big tickets, yada, 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 yada. Now, a lot of bikes do it well, right? Cruisers do it really well. I'm gonna show you a different cruiser here in a minute that does it even better. It's, you know, still a little ugly, but it, it works. Now, a huge offender, really, really bad, is my V-Strom. This tail is as bad as it gets. I mean, look at that big mamba jamba. Still got the under 21 plate on there. Haven't gotten that updated yet. Um, but it's it's just, I mean, it's awful. I mean, look at that. It's huge, it's ugly, it's bulbous, but it's legal. And it's just, it sucks. It sucks, it sucks, it sucks. It sucks. I'm gonna go walk over to some of my neighbor's bikes here. We're gonna keep talking about it. Now, Sport bikes need a better way of doing this. And uh, the Yamaha R7 did it really well. I think the, that tail looks really nice. It's very clean, very like angular, very aggressive. Um, but it just, it still doesn't work. Now we get over to cruisers. And I mean, look at this, it's a lot better. You got, you know, this cool little bracket that sticks up. Everything flows nicely. It works well. And this Honda Shadow which is similar to the Eliminator where it just has a little bracket that sticks down at the end of the tail. I like that. I don't think it's bad. We need to come up with a better way so people don't want to tilt their tags up and hide them from the cops. And maybe we can, you know, make this culture a little bit better. I know running from the cops is something a lot of people do. I don't fully condone it. I haven't done it myself. Don't really plan on it. I mean, obviously I've never done it. Well, why would I post that on a YouTube video? That would be stupid. Um, but we need a better way to make bikes look really good at the back so that people don't want to do these modifications that, you know, either get them in trouble or in some cases can send them to jail. So that's my rant. I want to start this YouTube channel back up. I hope this is not, you know, just another, oh, I'm back video. So it has been raining out. I'm walking back inside. I'm gonna buy a Yamaha R9 when it comes out. I'm gonna pre-order that shit. I'm gonna get fucking VIN number one if I can. Anyways, peace. Oh, fuck, my hands are dirty.